Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol HMNY. We will take a look at the daily time frame. I'm not sure if I've done this one before, uh, but I'm pretty sure I've done the analysis. But regardless, after today's price action, want to get things updated here. As from a technical perspective, not only did the price make a pretty significant move with the gap down and the big volume, but the chart is now sitting at a, a pretty historical level where the last time the price was down around that area, some interesting things happened. So what is this quote unquote area that I'm talking about? Well, it's right down here at about $5.30, give or take, you know, a few pennies. And the last time it was down here, so this is in what we would call a level of support, is back here. And this was, I guess, the right before the turn of the new year. And you can see that last time it was down there, very, very nice move on the bounce happen. Now, I really wish charting, I really wish the you know trading was this easy where I could say, because the last time it was at 5.30, a big bounce happened, that it is 100% guaranteed to make a bounce in the upwards direction. No such thing as a guarantee in the market, as much as I wish I could sit here and say that. Now, would it be shocking to see some sort of bounce? No, that would not be shocking at all, but nobody can sit here and say and make a proclamation that something will for sure happen. Now, like I said, wouldn't it be you know illogical to think that maybe a bounce could happen, but to sit here and say that it'll for sure happen, totally different uh, you know, game there and you know, one that's just not being honest because again, there's no such thing as a guarantee. So the point here being $5.30, very, very important level of support and an area where the last time the price was down there, it did do a good job of holding. In the event, this level cannot hold and then technically speaking, next level of support down around the $4 mark. I'm not saying a 530 can't hold, it'll drop straight down to $4, but that's just another reason why the level is very important. Uh, because really there's not any other technical areas of support uh, until down around four dollars which you know from 530 that's a, that's a pretty big drop in you know price per share now in the event there is any sort of bounce top priority that the price needs to get back above is this pink line right there that is the 200 day simple moving average and that just follows the, the basic uh, principle and charting when levels of support are broken they tend to act as resistance and going into today, that was that level of support, but with the price down below it, this would now, like I said, be considered an area of resistance on any sort of bounce. But really, in my opinion, top priority right now is not necessarily breaking levels of resistance. It's definitely trying to stabilize. And right now it is maintaining up above 530. So we'll see if the bulls can continue to do that or not going forward. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.